What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, the 26th of March. Feels like March has been dragging on for a long time here, but we're heading into the last week here. We're going to look at PNG, USD, Pangolin slash the US dollar. Uh, daily chart, Coinbase would be the data provider here. We're going to jump over to Bitcoin here first, then we'll jump back into PNG. We have some areas we want to talk about both to the downside and to the upside for PNG. So hang around for that. Let's take a quick look at Bitcoin and then we'll be back to this, guys. Welcome to the channel. All of the new subscribers appreciate you guys. So take a look at Bitcoin here. We've had a very nice rally off of this higher low. Higher low came into place right at the 62, 206 and three quarter support level we have. That's this yellow line we're going to pull this from. So Bitcoin has moved from low to high 14% in, let's see, that's five days. We are currently up from the lows of the higher low, 13.3% guys in five days. Very, very nice move. Uh, we're seeing some other smaller cap cryptos move as well in the green. And this is probably why I think we're going to see a couple more uh, take off to the upside as Bitcoin potentially pauses here. We have some... Levels to talk about here for Bitcoin, then we'll jump back into uh, Pangolin. So we have a two new targets. Uh, one is passed, one it were sitting just below as resistance, and they were both hit uh, yesterday and today. So we have a new level on the chart here, 71,335. That's this purple line on your chart that we are finding resistance at. So just as it should, trades up to it. Hits it or gets close, trades above it sometimes, and then pulls back below it for a period of time. A period of time could be a couple hours, guys. A period of time could be the top for a while, just like we saw over here at 73, 494, 28. That was the top for a while. We double topped right at my level there at 73, 494 for a period of time. And as you can see, we traded down to other levels. So between yesterday's candle and then today, we have some pretty solid resistance at 71,335. Bitcoin needs to break out. We need to break out back above 73,494.28. We need to make a higher high here. If we don't, the trend is heading lower. Doesn't mean it's going to be the end of this rally. But we really need to make a higher high. And uh, we should probably do so pretty soon. We did break out past this high here on the 24th. Uh, the 21st, excuse me. So that is a good sign to see for the markets. So as of now, things look okay for Bitcoin. But like I said, I want to get back above 73,494. And if that takes place, it could take place in a very strong way. So just be ready for be ready for that if it if it starts. So we have the the higher low. We have a higher high here, getting some resistance at our levels like we just talked about. And we really want to see BTC start to break back above 73, 494, 28. And that could take place in a very, very strong fashion. So we'll see how close we get and if it happens. If it happens, we could really see the markets be up big big percentage gains across the board for all kinds of different cryptos including bitcoin so let's see let's uh for the bull's sake let's hope that takes place so keep your eye on that guys 73 494 28 looking for a big big breakout uh we're close but so far we have not done that and uh let's get that done what do you say all right that's enough with bitcoin um Real quick, though, we do have some much higher targets for Bitcoin. Uh, some newer ones are 49,958 and 80,614. And then we have some more up there. And we'll fill in the blanks as as and if it breaks out higher, uh, 96,000. We have one above, uh, above 100K. So anyways, let's get over to Pangolin, the reason why you are here watching this video, but it's important to keep your eye on Bitcoin. It's the big player. Can't ignore it. So Pangolin, we have a couple things to talk about here. Uh, potentially setting up a higher low here and 
potential breakout on its way. That's for the upside. So we have a nice rally here. Um, still finding a little bit of resistance at the 0 0.32 fib, which is at 49,122. And that represents for that's for this consolidation, guys. Uh, the swing high to the swing low. The fibs are based on this consolidation, not anything lower. So we have, like I said, we have a we have a nice move higher, which was a couple percentage points. We talked about this recently. Um, I mean, I guess you could take the lows. I mean, forty percent. But I was actually going off like this candle here. Uh, you know, thirty-eight percent. I was using the twenty-second candle. Anyways, we have a nice move higher. We're getting this pullback. This pullback might be done, as in heading uh, lower. If that's the case, any day now, uh, maybe today. You know, I don't know that. We could be getting ready to pop to the upside. So we have the higher low. That's what we're looking for. Maybe it comes in today. Like I said, we have the pullback to the higher low and then boom, we get the higher high. And like I said, just like Bitcoin, if Bitcoin decides to break out, PNG is going to follow suit and do so in a fashion. It's in a very similar position as Bitcoin. We want to see PNG break above 52,400. 52,400 on the chart is this yellow line right here. That's this yellow dotted line right here. So if we start to get a pop higher here, we start to take out the highs here of the 24th. We start to approach 52,400. We really want to see a strong move above 52,400 and a close above 52,400. And just like if Bitcoin gets back above that 73K level, if PNG can get back back to 52.4 and break out like Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin potentially will do. It's, it could take place in a very strong way. So for the bull's sake, once again, hey, looking for that move. Hope that takes place for all of the PNG community holders. Be very cool to see that. That also follow. That also is right below the uh, 0.5 at 54.544. That's just this fib level right here in this consolidation. But like I said, it's a very important level to watch between the 52.400 and then the 54.544. So between my level and the fib, we want to keep our. Although the price here didn't get up to the fib, only up to my level. I would watch both. We're looking for a pop higher here. We'll see if the lows are in for this consolidation, but we want to see a move like this take place. And once it starts, and so once it gets up to that 52,400, you know, we might trade around that level for a little bit if you go to a smaller time frame like the three minute, but it might not hang around there long. And then we start to see a very strong move higher. If that takes place, guys, this thing's heading higher and that'll be the confirmation. But as long as we get a close above 52,400, that could be the beginning of a, uh, you know, a whole nother leg to the upside, probably taking out the highs, which would have been the highs are 85. So for the bull's sake, once again, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're rooting for. But it really depends on if Bitcoin can make a new higher high, not a lower high and roll over. If that takes place, PNG maybe moves up a little bit, but then, uh, you know, party's over. Let's talk about that scenario. So we talked about the upside, keeping our eye on 52.4, looking for a move back above that, a close above that. Uh, you really want to see a close. You need to see a close above that. Let's talk to the downside. So if Bitcoin doesn't print a higher high, let's real quick we'll come back to PNG. Let's say for this uh, bearish scenario that Bitcoin Bitcoin tops out today, right? Bitcoin tops out at our 71,335 level. That's the top. As in, we have our major high over here on the 14th of March. We have a pullback that took place for a couple days. Lows are in here on the 20th. We have this swing higher off of a higher low, but it tops out today starts to trade lower. 
Now it's possible that we pull back and print a higher low and then rally into a higher high. But let's say they pull the plug and it just starts to really, really drop. If we start to see ourselves back down at 62, very bad, not good, especially even a little bit lower than that. So the point is we want to see a break past 73,494 for Bitcoin. That'll give us a new higher high, and that'll be good for the bulls. To the downside for PNG, if Bitcoin starts to really roll over and uh, distribution hits the markets heavy, PNG starts to trade lower. We have two levels we're going to watch. We have more than two, but we, we have two new ones we're going to watch. We have a level below the market, which would put PNG, um, it would be putting in new lows for this consolidation, which would not be good. The first level would be 34,300. That's 0.34. Three zero zero. Um, so these areas, you would look for the price to trade down to that level, and it can trade below it. But you really, you then you'd want to see it close above it. So it would be actually a support area. It's a target to watch as price approaches, and then you want to see support for the ones that we're talking about below the market. Thirty four three hundred is that new level. It's right next to an uh, an older one at thirty four one thirty seven, but it's in purple. It's hard to see. That would be level number one. Level level number two is down there below the market uh, quite a bit at 26, eight, six, uh, 28, 600. That's this purple line right here. And that would really uh, take the price down quite a bit. But like I said, if distribution hits the markets, uh, it's not it, PNG will not be able to buck that trend for very long. You're looking at about a third three percent move lower to that target number two that new target and like i said that's down there at 28600 and that would be putting in new lows for this chart for this consolidation below the the 20th and uh that would reset a lot of things here in the market and for pangolin so that would change all of these fibs if we, we start putting in new lows that would change all of the fib levels it would extend our targets to the upside. We do all kinds of things. But we'll cross that bridge uh, if and when we get there. But I just want to put it out there now saying, hey, maybe it takes place. 34,300, 28,600 are two new levels below the market. And you can see we have all these other levels that are valid and will stay here. And, you know, hey, hopefully they're never hit. You know, 18701, 26261, 27445. Hopefully, I don't ever see PNG down here. Okay. But if we do, these are levels I'm looking for support and probably very good areas to be uh, picking up more PNG. But like I said, you cross that bridge when you get there. Right now, things are bullish and are looking good. And we're potentially getting the pop, the beginning stages of the new pop higher here, uh, putting in a new high and heading up back to the 52,400. PNG is currently up today at uh, 1.62%, Bitcoin up 1%, 700 bucks, PNG up uh, 0 0.00689. Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all of the support here on the channel, all of the comments. You guys let me know your thoughts on PNG. I wanted to put it out there. The new levels to the downside to watch 34, 300, 28, 600. But right now, keep in mind, things are looking bullish. But if they do roll over, that's the levels I'm watching, the new levels. Take a screenshot of the chart so you have them to the upside. It's important. We're watching 52, 400. If the price can get up there, and start to move above, it could be a very large move we see here. And the same goes for Bitcoin. We're looking for Bitcoin back above the 73, I think it's four, let's see, give me an exact here, 73, 494. Looking for a big breakout there. You're going to see some things flying if that takes place here in the crypto markets. PNG is up. From the lows here, from that, uh, let's see here. 
I'm using this low here, the twenty, uh, the twenty second March. You're up twenty two percent in four days, five days. So hey, not too bad. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.